to the Merchant Argo that just came in. I'm jumping in the passenger seat right now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? And did you enjoy yesterday's video when I introduced my new daily car? And I still, I just can't believe that this is my car and this is actually happening to me. Anyway, like I said, I introduced the, the car yesterday through the Audi, Watford Audi midnight launch, which was a lot of fun. And I'm currently cruising on the M25. The traffic is slightly building up. I'm, I'm going ever so slowly or slowlier as I have been recently. But the sun is rising, there's a lot of cars on the road as everyone goes back to work after a long bank holiday weekend. Now today's video is going to be a bit of a transformation, an exterior conversion on this car. Not a conversion like I'm turning it into an S1 because that would just be wrong. Basically what is happening today, I'm heading over to Dub Customs and Gad Tuning where this car is going to get some slight tweaks to the exterior, de-chroming, new badges and maybe some tints and new black wheels. Anyway, it is super early <coughs> in the morning as you can tell by my voice, but there's a few things that I want to do to this car as this has come straight from the factory like this. I want to make this black. I want to make these black so the whole of the front grille is a lot more aggressive. I'm thinking of doing black or titanium or even gold wheels, but black for now. And then round the back, this is going to go black. I'm not sure whether these are going to stay. And then the tints across the windows are going to go black as well. So it's going to be a stealth bomb, which is going to live up to its number plate's name. So having arrived at Dub Customs, they have got some serious cars inside. So I'm gonna put my car in and nestle it in with a 918 that used to be satin black and it is gonna be, well, it's awesome looking gray. Look at that. How nice is that? Then we've also got a McLaren and another A1. How insane is that? But this 12C looks quite nice in the red. I'm not sure um, what color it's going, but this is the Estronic gearbox. I'm now gonna be reversing parallel up with the 918. So back to my work, see the classic places that I've edited a lot of my vlogs whilst I've been over here. And do you know what, they've got some cool little convertibles there. Porsche Boxster, R8 Spider and a Bentley. And now it is time to edit the video. From my desk I hear a V12. And somewhere, there it is. So the Merchant Argo that just came in, I'm jumping in the passenger seat right now. So I'm just over 13 hours into ownership of the Audi A1, which is currently being blacked out, dechromed, and stealthalized. Is that a word, stealthalized? I don't know. Anyway, the number plate NUK was picked by me in a whole random selection of letters and stuff. It was the best one that I could even think of a word that would come out of NUK, so it's nuke. This is gonna be looking awesome. Got, got the windows tinted and also the wheels are going gloss black.
I'm trying to vlog as much as possible today. There's music going on in the main room where all of the work gets done. So far, there is an R8 getting reflective brake calipers. That's going on at the moment. It's also got an Army Tricks exhaust. It's quite funny that I'm down here on the same day that that car arrives. Then there's the McLaren 12C going full Mansuri kit, and I think it's then going abroad. It's not staying in the UK, which is a shame. But my car has just finished getting tinted up, and it is very much OEM. I always wanted to keep this car looking OEM, maybe a bit of the night pack or the night edition or the black edition, which is similar in the A4s and some of the other Audi stuff. So we've gone for um, a percentage change between the front and the rear to make it look as though it's come straight from the factory like that. And to be honest, it looks bloody awesome. I'm super happy with it. And now we are just waiting for the wheels and then I can head back to Watford. But let's check out the tint. This is the R8. Getting reflective, ready? Here's the light. Pretty cool. And this is the tint. The final piece to the puzzle has arrived. These have been wrapped to match the newly painted gloss black 17 inch alloys that are going to be going on this baby. Sunny end to the day. The sun is behind me, somewhere around there. And the car is just being lowered down off the things that hold it up. <laughs> Not the best way of describing it. I'm sure there's a technical term, but as you can see, this is so cool. By far the coolest Audi A1 I have ever seen and it is mine, which I am unbelievably appreciative of. I've just posted a picture on Instagram. The time is half past five. Um, let's just check it out. 334 likes and lots of congratulations to thank you everyone who is commenting on my um, Twitter and Instagram and my YouTube. Let's check out my YouTube video. Come on, 3G, 4G. Oh, it's loaded. Wow, 4,000 views in 30 minutes, wow. So as you can see behind me, the car is being prepped for the photo shoot that we're about to do. The car has been de-chromed, black gloss wheels. It's now having a bit of a tire shine and it's also been, and it has made a huge, huge difference to the car. It is so aggressive now. This is by far the coolest A1 on the road. I am super chuffed with this. This is the perfect car to sit alongside a Lamborghini. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but it is ridiculous. Look at it. Let me know in the comment box what you think of the new look of the Nuke. I'm calling it the Nuke from now on, thanks to the number plate. But I am so happy with it. This is so cool. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome little car. Really, really cool. And now it is be, it's being personalized, thanks to the guys down at Dub Customs, for de-chroming, tinting, and got, doing the gloss black wheels. I am amazed at the quick turnaround. I arrived at eight o'clock, and the time is 
quarter to six in the afternoon and it is done, completed. Powder coated wheels, tints, and the D-chrome and all of the painted of the badges. Oh, I'm clapping in my own car. The car has done, how many miles has this car done now? Um, onboard computer. It has done 81 miles. This car has done 81 miles and it looks amazing. I am so pleased, as you might be able to tell. Now, the exciting thing is, whilst I've been at Dub Customs, I have also been planning tomorrow the collection of my Lamborghini. So the day has finally come where I get to collect my dream car. I could not think, well, I would never ever expect to be in this position, just put it that way. I, I'm, I'm gonna try and go through all of my emotions as best as possible tomorrow as things start to heat up a little bit. But right now I'm gonna head home and just make it home as quickly and safely as I can. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching and as always, thank you so much for all of your support. It is truly overwhelming and amazing that you guys are following me on my journey. Here we go. Tomorrow is the day that I pick up my Lamborghini. So I'm starting to get nervous already starting to get nervous already so thanks for watching make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up if you like the new look on the audi a1 the nuke let's try and get that hashtag trending hashtag the nuke <laughs> see you tomorrow guys for one of the biggest videos i have ever filmed in my life and the biggest days in my life as well so i can't wait for that and i hope you're going to be joining me on that day so thank you very much Another thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Very early start. This is a video I never thought that I'd be making so quickly. But ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you my daily driver.